How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Football Fan Forever, and this is your Madden 20 New York Jets franchise. It's week 13 here in year two, and that means we're traveling to Seattle in order to take on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. The Jets' loss last week dropped them out of first place in the AFC East, but they're taking on a Seahawks squad this week that leads their division at 5-6. and six. The NFC West is always very competitive, but I'm surprised at how poorly all these teams are doing this year. None of them have a winning record, and that's probably the best division talent-wise in the league. Meanwhile, the Jets at 6-5 and five are one game out of first place in the AFC East behind the Patriots and the Dolphins. But it is Seattle's offense we'll see first. Greg Zerline back and ready to get us underway here. Week 13, Philip Dorsett, the return man. He'll take this one from his own two, crossing the 25 and taken down around the 27 by Ryan Griffin. Russell Wilson is having a down year, especially by his standards. Only 2,500 yards so far, 18 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. As he starts his day under center, here's a second and two from the 35-yard line. Pitch outside to Chris Carson, and he's chased down. Cal Kohler on the stop for a loss to make it third and three. Spreading out the defense, five wide here on third down. Time for Wilson, he'll fire to the right side. There's Dorsett with the catch to the 41 yard line. This Seattle offense has struggled to put points on the board so far this year, and I am honestly not sure why. Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf are two of the best wide receivers, certainly one of the better wide receiver combinations in the league. And with Russell Wilson slinging the ball, I'm just surprised at their difficulty moving the ball down the field. However, here's a second and 10 as Metcalf comes through with his first reception at the 47. That will be a fresh set of downs for the Seahawks. On first down in New York territory, they come out in the I formation. Here's Carson with the carry on first down, gain of four. He carried 16 times in the Seahawks' loss last week. As here on second and six, a delayed gift to Carson will go for about three more as he's off to a slow start here today. Third and three, New York showing double A gap pressure, five wide for Wilson. As five are brought, Wilson with time firing to the left side and looks like Tyler Lockett not on the same page there. Seattle will send out Jason Myers for a long field goal here. 57 yards with the wind at his back, kick is up and wide left. It had the distance but not the accuracy and New York will take over on their own 47 with excellent field position. Kaleem Balaj getting the start at running back today. Seahawks stacking the box. They'll give it to Balaj anyway, and he'll carry for about four on his first carry. Le'Veon Bell checking into the game on second and six. Darnold in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Rolls to his right. Fires to the sideline, and that's caught by Jameson Crowder. He had six catches for 67 yards a week ago. That one goes for 21 and a New York first down. Good throw by Darnold into a tight window there on the sideline. Here's a second and 10, another carry for Velaz, cutting the right side and bouncing his way forward to the 19. And that will make it third and two. Under center, another hand up to Balazs. He cuts the left side, running into Quandre Driggs and falling ahead to the five. It's a first down for the Jets and it's goal to go from the five yard line. What will it be on first and goal here for the Jets? Two wide receivers, two tight ends. Darnold back to pass. He looks to the left side. Griffin hauls it in. Touchdown, New York. Ryan Griffin's third receiving touchdown on the year. And the Jets will take a 6-0 lead. Here's Greg Zerline on the extra point. Wind in his face. And this splits the uprights as the Jets go up by seven on their opening drive. So a good starting sequence here. It's up to Seattle to respond. Here's a second and 12, and up to Carson. He's got some blockers and room. Falling ahead to the 36 is his best carry on the day. Already six 
carries for Chris Carson. He's got just 12 yards to show for it as here's a third and three blitz is brought and down goes Wilson. He never saw it. He had options downfield but Vince Beagle shuts him down at the 30. It's a three and out force by this New York defense. Taking over at their own 20 yard line. The fullback, Keelan Culver in the game. Donald back to pass. He fires short. There's Perryman with a gain of about five. As they go backwards on second down, here's third and nine. A bunch formation to the right. Rashad Perryman isolated left. Donald back to pass. He's got time. Fire short for Hodge. And there's Bobby Wagner at the 29. The Jets needed nine. They only got eight. As the best middle linebacker in the game will force a New York punt. Russell Wilson starting this drive on his own 29 in the shotgun. He'll hand off to Carson. Another carry so far. He's almost halfway to his total from last week, and there's a gain of eight on first down. Carson in the game on second and two. Hand off, and he's taken down Nate Shepard on the stop in the backfield, and it's third and three. Another run-heavy look here. Two tight ends and the fullback in the game on third down. Hand off to Carson, and C.J. Mosley meets him at the 35 in the backfield. It's another stop for this New York defense. They're playing some really good ball here early on. On his own 12, here's Sam Darnold to start the Jets' third drive, firing over the middle. That's intercepted! It's Bobby Wagner down to the two-yard line as Darnold throws his 17th pick on the season. This ball just coming out way late. He wanted Le'Veon Bell and had him wide open and just didn't pull the trigger until it was too late. Wagner comes down with the pick, and it's first and goal Seahawks on the two. Play action. Vince Beagle isn't fooled. He's got another sack. Again, a heavy blitz. Beagle comes through for his fifth sack of the season to back the Seahawks up to the 11-yard line. 17 seconds to go in the first quarter. Hand off to Carson. Won't get much. There's Kel Kohler on the stop as third and goal for the Seahawks from the 10-yard line. Wilson back to pass. Three-man rush all day but everyone's covered downfield Wilson rolling away from pressure he's got all day and down he goes another sack for the Jets a coverage sack this time James Delgado with the sack way back at the 20 yard line what a stop by that Jets defense holding Seattle to three and knocking them back 18 yards in the process here's Kaleem Balaj to start the Jets from their own 30 there's a gain of four on his fifth carry Third and six forthcoming. Le'Veon Bell in the game. Single high safety look for the Seahawks. Donald back to pass. He's got time firing over the middle. And that was a dangerous pass. Shaquille Griffin nearly came away with that one. And the Jets will punt. A rough start to the day for Donald. But the defense is playing lights out. Here's a first and ten for Russell Wilson from his own 18. Hand off to Carson. And Carson's wrapped up. Eric Armstead the first one there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Out of the shotgun here. As it's another hand off to Carson and another loss of yards. 12 carries, just 15 yards for Carson. James Delgado on the stop there and it's third and 13. It's been a run-heavy approach for the Seahawks thus far. Maybe trying to make up for Super Bowl 49 as Wilson back to pass on third and 13. Here's a deep shot for Dorsett. It's defended by Marcus May. The defense comes away with another stop as Seattle goes backwards on another drive here. And the Jets will take over with excellent field position. Ball on their own 44. Here's Le'Veon Bell, and he runs to the right side. That's a gain of 10, running into former New York Jet Jamal Adams at the 46-yard line. Balaj back in the game. He'll get the call, cutting to the left side, trying to turn the corner, and he's met at the 32-yard line. Six yards of carry here for Kaleem Balaj, who's looking very strong against the Seattle front. Here's his second and 11 bunch formation to the right. Darnold back to pass. He's got time. Fires into a tight window as Bobby Wagner was all over Brashad Perryman. Catch made down to the 26. That will make it third and four. Five wide for Darnold. He's back to pass. Four man rush stepping up in the pocket. And he slides down at the 17. A gain of nine to move the sticks for the Jets. Darnold with a big red zone turnover last week. 
After the interception earlier, Donald needs to focus on protecting the ball as play action on first and ten. Rolling to his right side, firing to Kadero Hodge. He's down at the five. That will put Sam Donald over 3,000 passing yards on the season. Yes, the interceptions are up, but he's been able to make plays like this all year, and I've been very impressed with what he's been able to do in year two. His second and goal from the five. The fullback Culver in the game. Balaj following him to the right side and met by Adams at the three. Let's make it third and goal. Donald in the shotgun. Seahawks crowding the line. They bring four. Donald back to pass. Drifting and in trouble. Throws this one away. New York will have to settle for the field goal to extend their lead back to seven. 10 to 3 is your score. Five minutes remaining in the first half here as another Chris Carson carry. This one with potential. He breaks across the 40 and is tackled by Blasson Austin at the 42. By far Carson's best carry on the day. It's been a slow start for this Seattle offense. As Russell Wilson in the shotgun from his own 42 yard line, he's back to pass, pumps to the left. Under pressure, takes a deep shot into double coverage and knocked away from Philip Dorsett. Lasan Austin and Stephen Donnelly in coverage. That will make it second and ten. Again out of the shotgun. Again Wilson back to pass. Fires to the left side. There's DK Metcalf. Tackled out of bounds by Donnelly after a first down to the 41-yard line. Just seven pass attempts for Wilson here as we are under four minutes to go in the first half. Here's an empty set look. Wilson with time over the middle, and he's intercepted! C.J. Mosley returning to the 37. It's his third pick on the season. Wilson's 10th interception as the Jets' defense with another huge play to get the ball back for their offense. I don't know if I expected this game to go the way it has. This Jets' defense is showing up. Darnold on second down all day to throw looking to the right side that's incomplete but there's a flag on the play they're saying defensive pass interference as that will extend the drive for the Jets here's second and six from their own 48 yard line motioning in Perryman four man rush Darnold with time now running out he fires the left sideline that's caught Ryan Griffin at the 32 of Seattle as Darnold put that one on a rope for his tight end. That was an excellent throw with pressure in his face. We've seen him make those kinds of plays all year long. One more play before the two minute warning. Here's Kaleem Balaz with first down yardage to the 21. He runs into Quandre Diggs as that will take us to the two minute warning. Just leading 10 to three and trying to add to their lead here as they're on the move inside Seattle territory. Play action for Donald. Looking to the end zone for Perryman, it's caught! Touchdown New York! As their lead does get bigger. Some blown coverage off play action there. We'll take another look at this. Rashad Perryman's team leading sixth receiving touchdown on the season. A cover three look here as Shaquille Griffin passes off Perryman to a non-existent safety. As the Jets take a 17-3 lead here with a minute and a half to go. Seattle needs to get something going. Here's a strike to the right side. DK Metcalf has been active in this one, but Wilson is only at 58 yards passing. As he's back to pass on first and 10. Throws a strike to Olsen, who makes the catch at the 45 down to the 41-yard line. Seattle keeping the tempo going here as the Jets bring four on first and ten. And it gets there! James Delgado with his second sack. And the timeout will be taken by Seattle at the one-minute mark here. This pass rush for New York is showing up. Here's third and 13. Wilson, empty set, four-man rush, firing over the middle, and that catch is made. Josh Gordon with the catch at the 35, and New York will take their first time out with some time here on the clock, and Seattle will send out Jason Myers. It's a 52-yard attempt into the win. Kick is up, and good. I didn't think he had the leg for that, but Myers has an... It's 17-6. 
The kick will be into the wind. Boston Scott from his own eight-yard line. He cuts to the right side. He accelerates into space. He makes a man miss. And it's a foot race inside the 2010. Touchdown, New York. A 90-yard touchdown return for Boston Scott. It's the first special teams touchdown for the Jets as the blocking assignments all work out. There's a huge lane here, and Scott is able to hit the Jets. Pun absolutely intended. He gives the Jets a 24-6 lead going into halftime here. An electrifying half of football for the visitors. I think this is their most complete half that they played all season. Wow. However, this is not the only game going on in the NFL right now that we need to keep an eye on. Miami is currently losing 21 to 10 to the 1 and 10 Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, the Bills who entered with an identical 6 and 5 record to us won their matchup today, which means that we'll have to win here today if we want to keep pace with the Bills. However, our defense and special teams is certainly seeing to that. They've sacked Russell Wilson four times. They've got turnovers and a big kick return touchdown by Boston Scott. He will open the second half, the kick into the end zone, and Scott will take a knee. So perhaps an underwhelming result compared to the last one. But we shouldn't overlook the offense either. Kaleem Balaj has been playing very well for us. Five yards a carry on 11 carries so far. He's off to a strong start in this one. And the Jets will certainly lean on him as they look to close out the victory over the home Seahawks here. That gain will go for three. And third and four. A short while later, Darnold well protected. Fires for Rashad Perryman, who's going to have about 10 yards. And the first down for the Jets. It hasn't been Donald's strongest game. He did throw an interception earlier, but he's making the throws he needs to and helping complement this rushing attack. Here's first and 10 play action, firing over the middle. Kadero Hodge with the catch, and he's tackled at the Seattle 42 yard line. His third reception on the day. First down, New York. Keelan Culver in the game, Colleen Balaj also there. And the handoff to Balaj right up the middle. He's got some space, and he bowls over Quandre Diggs, falling ahead to the 26. Some good, tough running, up to 74 yards on just 13 attempts. As Anthony McFarland checks in on first down. Donald back to pass, firing up the middle. That pass is hauled in. Christopher Herndon down to the three. As Darnold has put the ball in some incredibly tight windows. Here's first and goal. Hand off to the right. Kaleem Balash. One man to beat. And a strong tackle. Jamal Adams denying the touchdown at the one yard line. Here's second and goal. Balaj in the game on second and goal. He gets the pitch left side, and he goes in for the score. Touchdown, New York. Kaleem Balaj's second rushing touchdown on the season gives New York a 31-6 lead over Seattle on an eight-play, 74-yard drive to start the third quarter. They're taking care of business in this one, not letting up off the gas, as now the defense will get the chance to shut down Russell Wilson here second and two play action firing to left side the catch is made by Olsen tackle out of bounds at the New York 47 Seattle is going to need to start putting some more points on the board they've had to rely on a couple of field goals so far here's a handoff to Carson as he makes his way through some contact there gain of 10 on his 17th carry They've been determined to establish the ground game here today, but it hasn't been all that consistent for him. Here's first and ten. More play action all day for Wilson. Now he fires downfield. There's DK Metcalf at the seven-yard line. Levi Wallace unable to keep up with him. And it's first and goal Seahawks from the seven. This is an important drive for Seattle as they look to get on the board here. Carson redirecting to the left side. He's wrapped up by Kel Kohler at the six. It's a gain of one. Second and goal Seahawks. Under center eye formation here. And another handoff to Carson and he's up the middle. Touchdown Seattle. They respond with a big score there to keep them in this one. They still have a lot of work to do. 
but at least they're on the board with a touchdown here, 31 to 13, four and a half minutes to go. Hand off to Balaj, and he's wrapped up one of the few times today he's had contact at the line of scrimmage, and it'll be third and three. Balaj in the game, and the handoff to Balaj. He's hit and falls forward. He got the first down. Stretching out every inch of his six foot three frame to give the Jets the first down. Here's a second and two. Lamarcus Albert in the game. He hands off to Le'Veon Bell, who breaks into the open. I don't know how he got into the secondary, but he's caught at the 25. Bell doesn't have the breakaway speed he used to have, but 31 yards right up the middle there. He can still gash you for big plays. First and 10, New York from the 25. Here's a hand of Balazs. Cutting to the left side, and he's tackled after a gain of six. He's approaching 100 yards on the day. Here's a third and one. Darnold in the shotgun. Bell to his left, motioning in Hodge. And over the middle, there's Le'Veon Bell down to the nine yard line. The Jets have not had a 100 yard rusher on the season yet. The closest they got was Willie Sparks. But here's Colleen Balaj. He's down to the four. And that puts him at exactly 100 yards on the season. Third and goal from the four. Culver in the game. Hand off to the left side. Balazs with a head of steam. And he's met at the two. A strong tackle by K.J. Wright. Will stop him. New York will settle for three. Seattle trying to get some momentum going here. They scored a touchdown on their last possession, but we're in the fourth quarter here. They're down by three scores as this pass to the right side won't do it. DK Metcalf unable to get his feet in. That will make it third and ten. Russell Wilson on third down, rolling to his left, firing to his right, and the catch is made. Greg Olson moving the sticks as they try to get some momentum going here. Here's a second and five from the 42. Wilson in the shotgun, Carson to his left. Play clock hits nine, the snap is taken, firing to the left side. Olson breaks a tackle, turning up field, ducks out of bounds at the 49 yard line. Not a lot of deep shots taken here today. New York has mostly been equal to the task, but perhaps they start opening up the playbook here. Here's a shot, the left sideline, and it's knocked away. Marcus May with a huge hit on Tyler Lockett, who we have not seen catch a pass all day here today. Here's third and 10. Wilson checking it short for Carson, who jukes out May and jukes himself out of bounds. And Seattle has no choice but to go for it here. Down three scores inside nine minutes in the fourth quarter. They need a first down here. Delgado off the edge. And Russell Wilson counters. There's a first down to Philip Dorsett down to the 37. The Jets showed double A-gap pressure here again on first down. They nearly got to Wilson last time as here's a delayed give. Carson cutting to the right side with a blocker in front. It's another first down for the Seahawks down to the 26. 20 carries for Carson, although the game will probably be in Russell Wilson's hands here. They're down three scores, five wide. Time for Wilson. He fires up the seam. That pass is caught by Metcalf at the nine. Good job hanging on amidst a lot of contact there. Seattle's inside the 10. Here's second and goal from the nine. Play action for Wilson. Firing on the move. That catch is made by the fullback. And he's tackled at the six by C.J. Mosley. Third and goal. Six and a half minutes to go. Seahawks just running out of time. They need a touchdown here. Wilson to the air. He fires short for Carson as the offense has run through Chris Carson. But he's met at the seven-yard line. Fourth and goal. And Russell Wilson will stay on the field. They need a touchdown here. Pete Carroll going aggressive to the end zone for Carson. It's knocked away. The defense comes up with another big stop. And the Jets look to finish this one out. Second and 10. LaMarcus Albert in the game. Out of the pistol, he'll hand off to Balazs. Up the middle, he runs into Diggs and still is going. He breaks into the open field. I don't believe it. 93 yards and he's all the way in for a New York touchdown. The longest play all year for the New York Jets comes on the back of that 
Man there, Colleen Bellage, have yourself a day. I don't know how he got out of this. He meets Quandre Diggs. He's got Bobby Wagner all over him and a mess of Seahawks around him. It doesn't matter. He just keeps running all the way, 41 to 13. Absolute domination in all three areas of football here for the Jets. Offense, defense, and special teams. They are inside four and a half minutes ago. Some backups in the game here for the Jets. Third and three. Wilson back to pass. Rolls to his right. And down he goes. Jordan Willis with the sack. And the Seahawks will punt. That's the fifth time they've taken down Russell Wilson. We're inside three minutes to go as it will be backups for the rest of the way. Here's Colleen Balazs. He's not done yet. He runs over Diggs again. And he's down to the 32. He nearly took that one to the house. If you're Quandre Diggs, you have to be tired of seeing Colleen Balazs coming downhill at you. It just can't be fun at this point. He's run him over like four times. What a rushing attack here for the New York Jets. A lot of it has been Colleen Balazs, but here's LaMarcus Albert sliding down in balance to keep the clock running as we're inside two minutes here. And we're going to close this one out. New York improving to 7-5 and five on the season. Seattle falls to 5-7. and seven. Colleen Balazs now looking for the edge. Diving for the end zone. Out of bounds at the one. He missed his third touchdown by mere inches. And the clock is stopped. They're going to have to run one more play here. And they're going to leave Balazs in the game. He'll get the handoff and score. Running his way in for another New York. York Jets touchdown. He's got three rushing touchdowns on the day as he has insult to injury. Just look at this push by the offensive line and of course the impact by Colleen Balazs. What a dominating performance. 48 to 13. 30 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter as Wilson. Last play he might get in this one. He's sacked everyone downfield. James Delgado for the third time. The Jets pick up the dominating victory in this one over the Seattle Seahawks. I guess we know why Seattle was just one and four at home coming into this matchup. They fall to one and five as there are far more questions and answers surrounding this Seattle team after a humiliating loss at home to the New York Jets. I honestly expected a lot more of a challenge from Russell Wilson. I was surprised. He never really got comfortable. He only had 6.1 yards per attempt. He wasn't looking deep down the field. And when he was, we were able to make plays on the ball. But I think the real story of the game has to be on our offensive side of the ball, Colleen Balazs. 29 carries, 233 yards, three touchdowns. He had averaged eight yards per carry and had 115 yards after contact, including that 93-yard touchdown run. It was just crazy. He just kept making plays. I did not expect this when I gave him the start today. I was expecting he was going to struggle getting a lot of the same looks that Le'Veon Bell wasn't producing in. But no, he just ran over the Seahawks' defense. And they're not good, but they're not bad either. We faced weaker defensive fronts and have had less success. Instead, we are consistently getting a push in the run game and Balazs just did the rest. Speaking of doing the rest though, how about our defensive effort today? We had a takeaway on Russell Wilson, a bunch of deflected passes and tackles for loss, six sacks. James Delgado had three of them. I mentioned the C.J. Mosley interception. That was another excellent game by our defense and reminds me of the Miami game where we just didn't let them get going at all. So wow, just a solid effort by this team through and through. It's kind of nice to be on the other side of a proper blowout, don't you think? We had backups in for the last couple of drives there in the fourth quarter and yeah, we just kind of coasted to a victory. It felt like the game was over by halftime. But then we went and scored 17 more points in the fourth quarter. That's our highest point total on the season. And it's just a dominating victory over a team that I expected would give us a tougher fight. They've got Bobby Wagner to take away the middle of the field. They've got talent in the secondary. I expected it was going to be a very difficult day as Sam Donald was going to be asked to duel 
Russell Wilson, and that just didn't happen. Darnold made some really nice throws, and while it wasn't his best day, we had over 300 yards on the ground. He didn't have to sling the rock. We just pounded it down their throat. Also, we held him to 2 for 11 on third down, and 1 for 2 on fourth down. I, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a more complete team game than what we saw here today. As kudos all around, Eric Armstead made a lot of plays in the run game. We're still waiting on him for the pass rush, but he's at least applying pressure here. He almost got to Wilson a few times. Jameson Crowder continues to be a number one wide receiver for us. I thought our interior offensive line played their best game yet. They just dominated at the point of attack, and that just allows us to continually open up running lanes for our halfbacks. It was so much fun to be able to establish the running game here today, and I hope that is a sign of things to come for this team. It was a true team effort today, but we also sweep some individual honors here. AFC Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week here in Week 13 goes to Colleen Bellage and James Delgado, as hopefully this team is heating up at the right time. We are still one game out of first place in the AFC East as everyone won their game here today. We've got four games left, and two of them are against division rivals currently ahead of us in the standing. So circle week 15 and 16. But don't get too far ahead of yourselves. Next week is a date with Aaron Donald and the 6-6 six and six Los Angeles Rams. Colleen Bellage will get the start next week at running back and will hope to continue our strong play on the ground. But any defense that starts with AD99 and Jalen Ramsey is going to be tough to move the ball against. So I wouldn't expect Balazs to go over 200 yards for a second consecutive week. But I also didn't expect today's blowout either, so I guess we'll wait and see. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. It means a lot and it'll help me know that I should keep doing this. As always, have a good one everyone and thanks for watching.